Hi, this lesson is going to be on something called the major scale. The major scale is a series of notes played one after the other and it's basically fundamental to how all music's written and composed. It's a really good thing for you to understand. I'm going to teach it um, right from the start and then I'm going to expand it throughout the website so that you can apply what you've learned to other things. The major scale um, I'm going to teach you in the key of C, which means simply that we start on the note of C. So I'm going to play it for you. It should sound like this. Play it again. So that is me playing the C major scale. It's a C major scale because it starts on a C note. The C major scale starts on a C note, a G major scale would start on a G note, an F sharp major scale would start on an F sharp note. And the thing about the major scale is it follows a sequence which I'm going to teach you. So once you understand how to make the C major scale, you'll then be able to make any other scale if you understand it. If you just learn the C major scale, it's far less powerful than if you understand it. So you need to understand it, then you can apply it to other things. So first of all, I'll teach you how to play it. So it starts here, on the 3rd fret, on the 5th string, which is a C note. So I'll play that for you. So that's the first note. The next note is the next string down towards the floor, which is the D string. So it goes C, and then it's the D string. Then it's the 2nd fret on the D string and then it's the 3rd fret on the D string so from the start it's C then it's down a string and it's open then it's 2nd fret then 3rd fret so just do that really slowly till you get the hang of it so it's there open 2 3 so just practice that 3rd open 2 3 then we jump down to the 3rd string which is the G string, so it's open, and then it's two, so it's there, open, two, three, down a string, open, then two on the third string, the G string, so it's C, D, E, F, G, A, and then it's down another string to the second string, it's open, and then it's the first fret. So that note there is a C, and that note there is a C. So we're running from C to C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So that's the shape for the C major scale. The notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Don't worry if you're not familiar with the notes, I've made another lesson that's, that talks about all the different notes on the guitar and how to learn them effectively and quickly. So try not to worry too much about the, the names of the notes, that's something that you can build up knowledge of as you progress. So that was a C major scale, down the guitar. Now there's a formula for any major scale and that's what we want to understand because if we understand the formula we can apply it to any other scale so we started on the C note so the formula is tone, tone, semitone tone, 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 semitone and you're probably wondering what a tone and a semitone is if you don't know already a tone is a jump from say for example that note there and you miss out a, a fret so that's a tone every time you miss out a fret it's a tone if you play the very next note it's a semitone so a t from that note there a tone would be or a semitone is so a tone is one fret in the middle of the notes you're playing one empty fret in the middle and the semitone is where it's adjacent notes right next to each other. Okay, so the first one, C is there, and then we've got a tone to D, and we've 
we've got another tone to E, and then if you notice between E and F, it's just one fret, so it's tone. So sorry, it's important that you understand that you, the note you start on, that's the starting point. So it's between the notes. So from there to there is a tone. From there to there is a tone. From there to there is a semitone. From there to there is a tone. From there to there is a tone. From there to there is a tone. And from there to there is a semitone. So the formula is tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So the semitone at the end takes you back to the start. So tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So the note you start on, then you jump a tone, then you jump another tone, then you jump a semitone, and then it's three tones and a semitone. So it's two tones, one semitone, three tones, one semitone. So I'm going to teach you how to play the C major scale along the guitar. So that will make that a bit more clear. Um, the tones and the semitones will become clearer as you learn it along the guitar, whereas we were going down the guitar, it's not quite as clear. But I want to teach you how to do the C major scale both along the guitar and down the guitar. So we start on C there. So it's there. First note's there. So the formula is tone, and then it's tone. Sorry. Start on the first note, and then the, f the first space is a tone. So it's there. Tone. The second note is another tone, so we go from there. So it's the third fret, the fifth fret, the seventh fret. So that's starting point, tone, tone, and then from there it's a semitone. So it's there, 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 there. Good idea to use different fingers to do it, but at the start we'll allow you just to use one finger. So it's there, C, tone, tone, semitone, and then it's tone, 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 semitone. So that note there is at the 15th fret on the 5th string, so it's there to there. That's called an octave, that's the same note in a different place. So this, the just one more time, it's starting point, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So that takes you from C to C on the guitar. You're travelling from C there to C there, or C there to C there. So it's important to understand the formula. Um, as I said, the formula is tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And the start note is it's relevant, but it's, you need to understand that there's no space between the first note. So this, the tone is the distance between two notes. So the tone is the distance between your starting point and the second note. Okay, so just practice those two ways of playing the C major scale and what I want you to think about after that is that if you take the C major scale which starts on that note there which is C, the C major scale starts on C, the G major scale so this is a C note so C is on the third fret and the fifth string but this note up here it's further up towards the sky on your thickest string is a G note. Okay, so if you start on the G note and apply the formula, which is start, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, you get a G major scale. So now because you understand how to build a scale, all you need to know is this formula, which is tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, and to recap, a tone is the distance between two notes, and if there's an empty fret in the middle of them like this, it's a tone, if it's a 
the, the frets are right next to each other, it's a semitone. So we've learned the formula, so now if we start this, um, so the way I've taught you what you should be able to do now is no matter what note you start on, see so that note there's an F, so you start an F then you jump a tone and another tone and a semitone and a tone and a tone and a tone and then a semitone, that's an F major scale, so that's really handy if you, I would recommend that you practice this just going along the guitar. So have a look at the video I've made on learning all the different notes on the guitar and once you've done that you should be able to play any major scale just by applying this formula. I'm really keen in my website to not just to teach you things but to help you to understand them because when you understand them you're able to apply them and if you understand them you can apply them to all different aspects of the guitar. The guitar is an instrument that becomes far more easy to understand if it becomes linear. So the guitar, everything's movable on the guitar. If you learn one chord, you can play it in different places and it becomes a different chord. If you learn one scale, if you learn it in different places again, it becomes a different scale. So it's really important that we understand things because then we can reapply them to different things. So the main goals of this exercise is A, to learn how to play a major, a C major scale like this, which is down the guitar. And along the guitar. So that's the first objective. The second objective is that I want you to understand the formula for the major scale, which is tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And third of all, I want you to understand that if you move the shape, it becomes, a, this is still a major scale, it just becomes the major scale of the note you started on. So if you start on a G note, it's a G major scale. If you start on a C note, it's a C major scale. If you start on a B flat note, it's a B flat major scale. So now what you need to do is work out um, the notes on the guitar and then you can apply this scale and you can play any scale. I didn't learn this at the start of my learning, I learned all the individual scales and I didn't understand this and when I learned this method it made so much more sense and it made things a lot easier to understand so hopefully this will help you to do that. This lesson is um, in conjunction with another lesson which is naming all the notes on the guitar which again is quite um, easy to do if you understand it, but that's a process that takes a little bit of time um, to reach proficiency and it's something that you work on as you're improving at the guitar. I wouldn't recommend spending ages re learning all the notes off by heart, that's not how we're going to do it. So you can check out that video on learning all the notes on the guitar. So this lesson was on the major scale.